Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna show you a WhatsApp transfer tool called Altphone. You can use it to transfer your chats between iOS and Android, backup and restore your WhatsApp messages to and from the computer if your Google or iCloud accounts are low on storage and more. The tool can also backup, view and restore messages from Line, Kick, Viber and WeChat. But in this video, I'm going to focus only on the WhatsApp transfer process. To be 100% clear, this video is sponsored. However, the app is 100% working too. In this video, I'm going to show you the whole process by transferring my WhatsApp chats from my Android phone to my iPhone XR to give you an idea about how it works. So without further ado, let's jump in. In this scenario, I will use my Pixel 4a as the source device with all my WhatsApp chats on it. The target device will be the iPhone XR and WhatsApp is not even activated yet. Now I have both phones connected to my computer via USB. On the left, you will see the source device and the destination will be on the right. So let's hit transfer and follow the steps. First, I need to turn on USB debugging on my Android phone. Alt phone will show the steps about how to do this in case you are not familiar. So let me do this really quick on my Pixel 4a. After finishing the steps, the app showed a confirmation message that all the chats on the target device will be replaced with the transferred ones, which is expected, so let's hit continue. Next, Altphone requested to turn off the automatic backup to Google Drive on the source device and create a local one on the phone. To do this, go to your WhatsApp settings, then chats, chat backup, then tap on backup to Google Drive and choose never. And to create a local copy on your phone, just hit the backup button and give it some time. Now the local backup is done, so let's hit continue. Now it's saving all my chats to the PC first before moving them to the iPhone, which is gonna take some time, so let me fast forward this step. Next, I need to verify my WhatsApp account, which is the same one I have on the source device. And to do this, I have to enter my phone number and hit verify. It will first ask me to turn off two-step verification if I have it activated on my account. To check this, go to WhatsApp settings, account, two-step verification, and as you see, it's disabled on my phone. So I'm gonna hit continue and confirm that my phone number is correct. I got the confirmation code from WhatsApp, so let's put it in the text field and hit verify. The verification is successful and now Altphone is generating the data to be restored to the iPhone, which is gonna take some time. So let's fast forward again. Now I need to log in into my WhatsApp account on the destination device. So let's do this. After entering and confirming my phone number, WhatsApp didn't allow me to send another verification code and asked me to wait for almost seven hours because I did the same thing recently. However, I can still request a call without the need to wait for seven hours. I have my SIM card in another phone. I got the call, entered the code, skipped the restore because I will transfer the chats from my other phone anyways. And now my WhatsApp is active. So let's get back to Alt phone and click on logged in button. The last step Alt phone is asking me to do is to turn off find my iPhone for the chats to be transferred. You don't need to worry about doing this because you won't lose any data from your phone and you can reactivate it again after the transfer. So let's do the steps by going to settings, tap my name, then find my, find my iPhone and turn off the switch. It will ask for the Apple ID password, type the password and then tap on the turn off button at the top right corner. Get back to alt phone and click on try again. Now the transfer is started and after some time I got a message that the transfer is successful. So let's take a look at the phone. As you see, all my chats are on the iPhone XR now. So this is how the transfer work. Later on, you can reactivate automatic backup to your iCloud if you want to, or use alt phone backup feature to backup your chats to the computer, which is gonna be useful in some scenarios. Like if you don't have enough space on your iCloud or Google Drive, you forgot their passwords, or your internet connection is slow. And to do this, go to the backup tab, choose the phone, then hit backup now. Follow the on-screen instructions, if any, and wait until it's done. As you see, I packed up my iPhone XR successfully. To restore your messages from the PC later, go to the View and Restore tab, and you will see the list of backups you have. I have two, one for my iPhone XR, and another one for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Highlight the one you want, and choose either to restore to an iOS or Android device. Or you can view the content of your backup by clicking the View button. Here you will be able to see all your messages, the documents, photos, stickers, videos, voice messages, links, and other files. The last thing to show you is how to download and install Altphone. 
Just click the link in the description below, you will immediately see the download button. You can either download the Windows or Mac version. In my case, I will download the Windows version. After the download finishes, run the file, follow the on-screen instructions, and you are good to go. And when it comes to the pricing, there are three plans to choose from as shown now on the screen. They range from $19.95 up to $49.95 after discount. But you can use my special promo code utf on 30 off to get extra 30% discount on top of what's already on. Just to click the buy now button, expand the redeem coupon code section, type the promo code, click update, and enjoy the 30% off. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my review for Altphone WhatsApp transfer tool. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.